Hi, I'm Nick Redding, the Executive Director of Preservation Maryland. And all today on the anniversary of the Battle of Antietam, we're going to be taking you to some interesting untold places, often overlooked places on the battlefield. You know, the story of the Battle of Antietam is one often told in the movements of troops in this direction or that direction, and lost in the tactics of battlefield maneuvers and what happens to this regiment or that are the stories of why this place matters, what this place was before that battle happened, and how the stories of this place are really interconnected with the reality of why the American Civil War was fought and the, co the context and conclusion that comes of that. Um, really the story of how the Civil War shaped places like the state of Maryland and like the farm fields that dotted the Antietam battlefield before it was the Antietam battlefield. You know, the young poet at the time, Walt Whitman, once wrote that the real war will never get in the books. And to some extent, that's true. The real war, the challenge of the people who lived here, the people who made this their home, and who lived in the Sharpsburg area prior to, during, and after the war, um, has been a challenge uh, to tell. But it's an important story. It's an underrepresented and often overlooked story and one that we're excited to bring you to uh, all over the course of this day. Uh, and by bringing you to specific sites and uh, introducing you to some experts in the field, we hope that we have the opportunity to shine a new light on the story of Antietam. This isn't an, enough information, certainly, to tell the entire story of all the people here at Antietam uh, and, and Sharpsburg, but it's enough, to hopefully, to spark an interest in understanding how important the context of this battle is and how pivotal this battle was and the significance of this battle to the conclusion of the American Civil War and what it means uh, to this nation to this day. Because Antietam doesn't only matter because there, because there were 23,000 casualties here. Antietam matters because on the heels of Antietam, Abraham Lincoln is able to issue that Emancipation Proclamation. And then on the heels of that, the war effort changes, and it becomes a war from not just saving the Union, but a war to ending the, the heinous sin of slavery. Uh, and of course, with the conclusion of the American Civil War brings the 13th Amendment, which finally puts an end to slavery, even in states like here like Maryland, where the Emancipation Proclamation didn't change the course of uh, slavery, at least for those slaves here still in Maryland. That wouldn't come until Maryland passed its new constitution in 1864. So there's tremendously important things that come as a result of the Battle of Antietam. And those things are beyond just the tactics, just beyond the maneuvers. They're the stories of the people who made their lives here, the women, the faithful, the slaves, the freedmen, who all came together and are a part of that bigger picture of the story of the Battle of Antietam, which we're bringing to you all this anniversary of the battle.